Introduction Welcome students. Today, we will delve into the fascinating world of cystic fibrosis, CF, and explore the molecular intricacies underlying this genetic disorder. CF is caused by mutations in the CFTR gene, which encodes a protein involved in ion transport across cell membranes. Understanding the various aspects of CFTR function and dysfunction will not only shed light on the pathophysiology of CF but also provide insights into potential therapeutic strategies. So, let's unravel the mysteries of CFTR together. The CFTR gene is located on chromosome 7 and spans approximately 189 kilobases. Mutations in this gene lead to defective CFTR protein function. Over 2,000 mutations have been identified, with the most common one being the F508-DEL mutation, accounting for around 70% of CF cases. These mutations can result in impaired protein synthesis, processing, trafficking, or channel function, ultimately leading to CF symptoms. After synthesis in the endoplasmic reticulum, the newly synthesized CFTR protein undergoes a series of intricate steps to ensure its proper localization and function. Chaperone proteins assist in guiding the nascent CFTR protein through the secretory pathway, allowing it to reach the plasma membrane. Defects in protein trafficking can prevent CFTR from reaching its destination and contribute to CF pathogenesis. Proper maturation of CFTR involves several post-translational modifications, including glycosylation and phosphorylation. Glycosylation enhances CFTR stability and facilitates its trafficking to the cell surface. Meanwhile, phosphorylation by kinases regulates CFTR channel activity. Imbalances in these processes can disrupt CFTR protein maturation, leading to CF-associated abnormalities. The functional conformation of CFTR is critical for its proper functioning as an anion channel. The protein undergoes conformational changes upon ATP binding and hydrolysis, which drive channel opening and closure. Mutations in CFTR can impact the stability and conformational dynamics of the protein, resulting in aberrant ion transport across epithelial cells. In addition to genetic mutations, epigenetic modifications play a role in CFTR gene regulation. DNA methylation, histone modifications, and non-coding RNAs can influence CFTR expression levels. Understanding these epigenetic mechanisms provides opportunities for developing targeted therapies to restore CFTR expression. CFTR interacts with numerous proteins, forming a complex network that regulates its function. These protein-protein interactions modulate CFTR channel gating, trafficking, and signaling pathways. Exploring the CFTR interactome can unravel novel therapeutic targets for CF treatment. CFTR channel gating refers to the opening and closing of the ion channel, which regulates ion flux across cell membranes. This process is tightly controlled by phosphorylation events and other factors. Dysregulation of CFTR channel gating can lead to altered ion transport, disrupting fluid and electrolyte balance in CF. Proper ion transport mediated by CFTR is crucial for maintaining homeostasis in various tissues, including the respiratory and digestive systems. CFTR regulates chloride and bicarbonate transport, which in turn influences the hydration and viscoelastic properties of mucus in the airways and gastrointestinal tract. Dysfunctional ion transport contributes to the hallmark manifestations of CF, such as impaired mucociliary clearance and pancreatic insufficiency. CFTR dysfunction leads to the accumulation of thick, dehydrated mucus in the airways and other affected organs. This abnormal mucus impairs mucociliary clearance, leading to chronic infections, inflammation, and progressive lung damage. Understanding the link between CFTR dysfunction and mucus abnormalities is crucial for developing therapies targeting mucus clearance in CF. CFTR mutations can impact the response of CF patients to various pharmacological interventions. Some mutations may confer sensitivity or resistance to specific CFTR modulators, influencing treatment outcomes. Personalized medicine approaches based on CFTR genotype can optimize therapeutic efficacy and minimize adverse effects. Numerous therapeutic approaches aim to correct or ameliorate CFTR dysfunction. These strategies include CFTR modulators, gene therapy, and alternative ion transport pathways targeting mucus clearance. Advancements in targeted therapeutics hold promise for improving the quality of life for individuals living with CF. Molecular modeling techniques and computational drug design play a crucial role in developing CFTR targeted therapeutics. By predicting the effects of mutations and simulating drug interactions, researchers can identify potential compounds with improved CFTR activity, aiding the development of novel therapies for CF. In conclusion, Understanding the molecular intricacies of CFTR and its dysfunctions provides a foundation for unraveling the pathophysiology of CF. 
Through innovative research and therapeutic interventions, we strive to improve the lives of CF patients by targeting specific aspects of CFTR protein function and regulation. Let's continue to explore the fascinating world of molecular biology to pave the way for future advancements in CF treatment. Keep up the excellent work, students.